All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to my to Adon tutorial. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with my past tutorials, I talked about um, just fundamental stuff, uh, beginner, intermediate, uh, how to play this game, what drives you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You, you can research that on our YouTube Media Vault, uh, youtube.com slash level, up, level series. up series. You can check that out. I also did a bison one. Uh, this time, um, you know, I'm gonna step out of step out of the norm. I mean, everybody's probably sick and tired of the vanilla characters. Let's go, you know, try to do something a little different. I do play a lot of characters. I range from almost every character in the game. Um, and uh, what's surprising is that one of the characters I actually enjoy in this game, I would never, ever, ever, ever play. I've never seen you play Adon never. before, never. ever. Never. So, um, the things with Adon, man, I mean, if you know back to my past tutorials, um, why do I like Adon? I, Adon... Um, has a lot of uh, great movement. He has a, lot of, so, has a lot of priority on his normals, which I like. Um, he does not have projectiles, which is an unvia-ish type of style. But remember, I play Bison. Bison has no projectile. He's a very rush happy character. I like rushing. I, I've actually incorporated my rush style into Adon's um, mobility. Because he has a really fast dash. Look at that dash, dude. It's like Kazuya. <laughs> like te Tekken, yeah, it's really, really fast, right? Um, he covers space pretty well uh, with the Jaguar kicks and uh, here. Huh? Thank you, Jimmy. He uh, covers space really, really well. Uh, covering space, what do I mean? You know, the Jaguar kicks, that's the short one. He covers a lot of kick and also it uh, breaks focus. So then you try anybody trying to focus that. Oh, sorry. We're not in queue, it's live. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Bam, you all right? So nobody can focus that. Um, he can also do the jet. that also breaks focus. So look how much space that covers, right? And you can also confuse the people too. Like if you're not always wanting to rush down, you can do the short one, you know. And he's like scared, and so you go apply pressure. And you can also fake with the jaguar tooth instead of doing the close one all the time, right? You do this one. Why would you do the short one? Because sometimes you got kids with really good reaction time. They're gonna want to uppercut. They're gonna want to uppercut my jaguar tooth. I mean, if you see somebody jump off the wall, that's pretty much good cue to tell you, hey, he's jumping, he's ju he's jumping off the wall. So I am going to DP him or ultra him. But I know that. I'm a top player, Malik's Valley. I know what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna switch it up and do that. And you whip, like say, well, yeah, your hands are full. But I mean, you get the picture. If I make you whip an uppercut at that range. I'm going to punish you, punish you hard. <laughs> okay, um, you, he has a lot of a lot of good mix-ups uh, with uh, his specials uh, when I want to stop my rushdown game. Okay, he also has uh, which uh, another move that causes a lot of uh, or covers a lot of space, which is his air jaguar kicks. Right, um, you can control it which way you want from the short versus the forward and the medium kick, the distance-wise. Um, but what I thought was interesting is in all, all Alpha Series add-ons, you could, you had a set place of where you want a Jaguar kick, right? Um, which was very easy to gauge as, uh, you know, you can counter that easily because it's a set space. This, you can do an instant air Jaguar kick, which is very, very hard to see. See, look at that, that's instant, very instant. I can do the short one, you know, I can do far one and then do the medium one shoot right covers a lot of range and it has a lot of uh, follow-up opportunities so now I'm gonna get to that right there that's the beauty thing now say throw a fireball at me Jimmy go ahead throw that is free yeah, ladies and gentlemen throw another fireball So yeah, I mean, I did it early and I did it late. You have a lot of time to do it. Hold on a second. See, that's really, really easy to react to. And uh, the best ranges, of course, is this range and this range. If you do it from far range, yes, he can bait me and, you know, crouching forward into whatever he wants. 
So you don't want to get into the far range to do that. So that's really, 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 really good for those projectile characters. Also, um, I talked about the Jaguar 2 before, right? Which is really good to mix up to kind of bait the anti-airs or whatever they want to counter you with. Well, um, for the people that are still doing the tech th uh, throwing by standing, if you notice that if you notice that they're doing that a lot, you know that has to be punished. You gotta make them pay. You gotta you gotta make them pay for that. Okay, so I'm like walking around. Say I knock you down, right? So I'm trying to apply pressure. Oh man, this guy's scrubby. He's just trying to throw me on wake up, right? Okay, now go back to the corner. Go back to the corner. All right, now throw me, right? See that? Now, why is that good, Alex? Why is that good? Cause, because Adon can combo off that EX Jaguar kick. The other one, all right, try it. Knock you down. Oh. Yes, sir. That's what happens if you try to tech my throw. You're screwed. Don't tech throws against Adon standing. Instead, do the low teching. Low teching crouch with jab and short or uh, option select crouch with say you want a bigger bigger button a priority linking crouching jab short and forward or crouching jab strong so okay next is there everything cool oh, okay, okay, okay. all right so cover those two things uh, uh, those great tools that you can use um, the thing about the air Jaguar kick that I didn't mention that you can focus you can focus this so you gotta be very careful when you use that move. Very, 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 very careful. And also, if it 